I've come to a very old churchyard, St. Clouthog in Pemboya, which is deep in the heart of southwest Wales. And I've come here to look for a very rare fungus, the violet coral. I first came here a few years ago when I was carrying out a fungi survey of Carmarthenshire's graveyards. Now you might think that's an odd thing to do, but unfertilised lawns in graveyards can be a great place to look for fungi. I'm fascinated by fungi, so for me, this is like a bird watcher going to a sea cliff full of noisy nesting ghouls. I remember that it was getting a little bit late and rain was sweeping in, but I could see that the site was good as soon as I got here. I saw loads of colourful wax cap fungi poking out of the ground like chocolate jewels in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Wax caps only fruit on fields, lawns and graveyards which haven't been fertilised or indeed dug up for decades, so I knew there's plenty more to see. So I came back here a year later and I came across a couple of unexpected mycophiles. Now, if you don't know what a mycophile is, it's people who love fungi. And here they are today. Are you Hello. Eva? Yes, I am. And you and Michelle? Yes. Now, someone's told me that you know where to find the violet coral here. Is that, am I right? Yes, I do. That's really good news, you know, because I've been looking and I can't find it anywhere. Where should I be looking? It's, it's next to Daniel Davis' grave. Daniel Davis? Yes. Do you know where that is? Is that, in, yes, is that down here it. somewhere? It's over here. Oh, come on, show us. I've seen a few little fungi around here, yeah. but they're, they're kind of a little bit washed out. I hope it's still there. It might be quite old by now. Here it is. Wow! It's still, and it's looking good. Yeah. Oh, it's really fantastic. good, but it's still looking fresh. Oh, Eva. Not too old. Oh, do you know what? I was really worried it'd be um, not here. Yeah. That's first worry. And the second worry is a little bit worried that it'll all be washed out, but yeah. it's still got quite a lot of its colour, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. I know when it first comes out, it's really, really vividly yeah, violet colour. Yeah, it's coral -y. more like quite a lot like it is right in there. Most people, when you set down what a mushroom looks like, they, they just think of something think you buy from the shops yes, or something. but they never think of red and purple and green and orange and yellow and all the amazing colours. It's called a, a violet coral. Yeah. Now, in Latin, that's called... Cleveria zolengeri. Yes. Now you know the Welsh, don't you? Coral violet. And you can see why it's called this, can't you? Because it yes. kind of looks like and the coral that you get. It looks like a coral, especially like bits like that. It, just it does. Spikes and it's violet coloured. And I think that, that says it all. But what yeah. we can't see is what's underneath the soil. Yeah. Because this is just like the tip of an iceberg of the, of the whole fungus. Most of it lives underneath the ground. Mycelium. That's right. And the mycelium is, is breaking down all the dead plant matter in the soil and collecting lots of nutrients. And then every now and again it wants to reproduce. So it sends up this fruiting body. And from here, all the spores go everywhere. Yeah. But there are people who get very, very excited uh, when they find this on land because it's quite rare. It's only been recorded in about 200 places across the UK. If anyone else finds a violet coral like this, they need to find somebody who knows who is actually cutting the grass and just to let them know they've got some wonderful fungi in there and that they continue to just cut the grass, take away the arisings and not apply fertiliser. Just that simple message is really, really important. The other thing as well, anyone who finds anything like this uh, in the graveyard, uh, look at the notice board. There's probably a phone number of someone who, who actually manages the land. But if you can't even find that, a lot of... Uh, churches have little um, books where you can actually visit books where you can actually write on i've done that a few times myself and i'll just let everyone know they've got wonderful fungi i've left my phone number and people rung me back to actually find out a little bit more about what they can do to help conserve it now then either it's said that violet coral can taste like uh, either cucumber or radish do you fancy having a little nibble all right i'll just take a little bit here mm. Um, it's just a little bit watery to me. A little, oh, a little no. bit mushroomy. A bit mushroomy. Am I feeling a little bit of a kick of a radish on there? I'm not sure. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm getting something. Know. There is something I do need to tell you though, uh, Eva, about this. Okay. Is to say if you eat enough of this, it's a laxative. <laughs> and I don't think we want to be doing that no. in a churchyard in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Bruce, but we need to be going now. But okay. I had a really nice time looking at these amazing wax caps and, and exploring all the lovely things in this churchyard. But I really have to be going now. Okay, it's been lovely to chat to you. Okay. 
Now, if you get really fired up about fungi, you might want to contact your local fungus group. There are a few in Wales, mainly based on county boundaries. They'll be listed on Google. Perhaps you might want to join one of their events or walks. That's what I did, and the countryside, as well as graveyards, have become a far more fascinating place since then.